Hi guys, it's Afeni and Sakal here. Today we're going to be sharing with you a little bit more information on how to work with the temples, chambers, just the different tools to, to sort of bring your consciousness and your divine presence into a, a sacred space for doing meditation, prayer work, healing work, that type of thing. So some of you who also tune into the guided meditation and the astral travel journeys will hear me open all the time with certain elements like we call in the teams you set up your pillar we anchor temples and we want to talk you through that in a way that will make sense to you it's something that we've learned over our probably a couple of decades now of working with spiritual work and you know connecting into the inner realms working with your support teams and your guides is to set up your space it's very simple when you go on what you could call a sacred journey what you want to do is you want to set up, for instance, some temples or some chambers. And we want to explain what that means, setting up a temple. A temple is nothing but an energy frequency. As you know, the universe is an energy resonant universe and everything is energy. So when you set up a temple of a certain frequency, for instance, one of the temples we set up in the meditations is the temple of Mother Gaia grounding. That assists your energy to be grounded to earth. Another mm. one is a temple of divine union, which assists your masculine and feminine energy to come in strongly and assist you during this time. And another one we use is the temple of God presence communion. This helps your spirit to powerfully anchor through you when you're working. Mm -hmm. Now, we advise you use these techniques when you're doing a session with yourself or with someone else or when you go into meditation or when you go astral traveling because when you go in the inner realms and you don't use any of these techniques you know you may pick up some energies that later you'll need to clear again or you know you get stuck with portals or negative cords and all that stuff and we talk about that in other videos as well for instance the one with Lanto where you know you you learn to clear energies and things like Invasive that. Invasive energies yeah. So the first thing that you want to do you want to set up your pillar. Now we have a few videos. One is a conversation with Afenia and Sakal on the pillar and the other is a pillar exercise, a meditation itself. So the pillar in itself expands your heart energy down to earth, up through the higher chakras to source and that's your pillar. So you always want to start with your pillar. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, what you want to do is you want to call in your support teams. If you are you don't want to get caught up with your mind or if you get a little bit stressed in relation to who to call in, you're not sure which ones you need, that type of thing, you can ask for the family of light. You, yep. You're guaranteed that they're high frequency beings then. And we're not, we're not saying to be afraid of low frequency beings. It's just the discernment that, that we're in a density where... You know, there's other negative density beings that are using um, people that energy are to service, feed on energy to feed on, but also yep. people who are being of service that open themselves up to some kind of channeling, that type of thing that, that can sort of come through. And it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just to be aware of. And so it's as simple as anchoring the temples, asking for the family of light, asking for, you know, just literally asking for the, the beings of light that, that can help you with this particular situation to come forward and you may feel their energy, you may recognize their energetic signature, you might not see their face or, you know, because they are energy, so they may come forward and show you very clearly who they are. You might just feel, oh, that's Guan Yin, mm, I love that energy, yeah. yummy. There's, um, you know, Mary, she, the, the nurturing, the power that she's bringing through, there's Sananda, the Christ consciousness energy, you know, Sanat Kumara, whew, you feel that powerful energy, you can feel that Sanat Kumara. Yeah. If there's energies that you want to clear, you know, call in, ask for Ashtakama and Galactic Federation to come and to assist you in collecting any, you know, negative uh, things that may be in your field. And, it's, and it's, it's important that you work with the teams that you feel comfortable with. Yes. So you may angels, tune into the teams that we work with or you may work with some others. It doesn't matter, mm. you know, if, if, if there's certain energies that you love working with, beautiful what we generally tend to call in is the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, the karmic board. We work with our ascension councils and our God presences. I like to call in Divine Mother, Divine Father. So you can call in whoever you want. Mm -hmm. And if you have specific needs at that time, you can call in different members or different energies. And in the end, what you'll notice when you set up your space, it's all energy. And mm -hmm. like the angels and the archangels and the ascended masters, they all work in group consciousness. So it's an energy you're not going to be overtaken by another being you're going to be connected you're going to plug in 
your power and it's going to be protective and it's mm -hmm. going to keep you in a place that is of high frequency while you do these type of sessions. Again, you want to set up your pillar, you want to call in the support teams, whichever ones feel supportive to you, including your own divine presence, mm. and then you want to call in whatever temples. Now, the difference between temples and chambers, because you'll also hear uh, talk of chambers when we go, for instance, to different realms, or we go into the God Presence Communion Temple, and there's chambers there. Chambers are small temples, so they're often for individuals. I will just go through the words I literally go through with each and every session or each and every meditation. So you've got that there as well. You have them in the meditations as well, but it might be nice to hear them outside of a meditative space, okay? So first we set up the pillar, then we do the following words. We ask for the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters and the karmic board to merge deeply and fully with us now through all dimensions of our field. We ask for our God presences, our guides, our ascension councils to work in harmonious group consciousness together so the highest of the highest of the highest will be available for all of us in our here and now or if you're working with a particular person you could say for John in his here and now. So that's a choice you have there as well. And then you're all set up Then you want to call in the three temples we generally work with with the meditations. We ask for a temple of Mother Gaia grounding to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for a temple of divine union to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. And finally, calling on a temple of God presence communion to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. So you can also anchor chambers, temples for all sorts of things, everything really. If you're going on a picnic, anchor a chamber of joy. You can anchor chambers of peace. Um, you can anchor chambers of sleep for your children at night, filled with love, peace and safety. So there's just this yummy energy. Or They're temples not... around a group or an event yeah. if you feel guided to do so. Yeah, and you can, you, can uh, you know, temples of peace, of joy, of courage, of fun, of laughter, of um, uh, group consciousness, of a high frequency, anything. It's, and, and this is the other part of it is it's just really important to just intend it. It's your intention. It doesn't have to be the perfect word. You, you, you don't have to have the perfect um, set. You don't have to do it perfectly in alignment the way that Sakal does it on the on the meditation. Make it your own. Your intention is to have the high frequency, to yep. ask for the family of light for assistance, to bring in the beautiful high frequency. And it's really about not... Not saying, oh, the saviors are coming to merge with me. It's about, okay, guys, we're a team. It's let's, calling let's on assistance, and they need yes. you to call out because you've got the free will mm. to do so. Yeah, and they really like being a team with us. They don't want us to, you know, oh, it's not tomorrow, you're here, no. Not at <laughs> it's, all. It's really we're, about, we're very equal yeah, to them, and they have yes. a different role to us, and they want to yeah. assist. And Sakar, so we, we have a bit of a joke with the masters at times, and, you know, some of them are very serious, and some of them like to have, a, have that joyful, laughing... Um, energy as well it, it's it, keep it light it's all good you yep. know just and we're be all yourself with it and we're all connected as souls and god presences mm -hmm. their god presence is doing their role we're doing our role here mm -hmm. so you guys noticed it's gotten a little bit late here it's a bit dark it's a bit dark so we <laughs> flicked on a light so um yeah i think that completes what we wanted yeah, to share for today yeah, lots of love enjoy play play with it enjoy it feel that yummy yep. frequency as it comes and, in. And know that you you are safe setting it up this way, but if you want to tweak whatever element of it, that's up to Bring you, and that is your journey. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much, guys. We look forward to seeing you again next time. Like and subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.